Hey Gemini, welcome to my channel. This is the next 24 hours love and general situationship that reading session for you, Gemini. I hope you are well. I hope you're fine. I hope you're safe wherever you are right now. This reading for today is for the Gemini friends out there. What can I get for Gemini, please? What is the love message and general situationship message that is meant for you to know and ready for you to know in the next 24 hours, okay? Before I start, I would like to thank you for coming back. Thank you so much for tuning in. Guest viewers, if you haven't, click the subscribe button and the bell. Please do it now if you're interested and if you are keen. And if you would like to further connect with me, my channel, myself, I invite you to please check out the website. Go to sunshine-tv.com. It has all the details and services that I offer outside of the YouTube platform, okay? So this is for Gemini. I will be giving another shuffle and we can start your reading. Okay, so let's look at the main energy for today is you've got the High Priestess in reverse. You've got the Seven of Wands in reverse. And then you've got the Ace of Swords in reverse. It seems to be, um, you could be dealing with the Gemini Libra Aquarius, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, High Priestess, this is like a Virgo and a Scorpio energy, okay? Um, it seems to be, Gemini, that you have lost your belief to yourself or you're not in synchronized with your intuition. The High Priestess in reverse, it means that you're not really thoroughly um, you're not in tune to what really is happening. There's something in this reading that is reminding you or it's telling you that if the situation or the outcome is not going, if it's not the outcome that you want or if it's not in favor of you, it's because you lost your belief or you lost that ability to concentrate or focus on a decision making. You know, um, you're being clumsy, you're being, I don't know, for some of you foolish in terms of decision making, you're taking a risk, you're taking a risk so much, or you're not putting a lot of effort into focus, focus on your decision, focus on your strategy, focus on the process, focus on the things, the people, and the goal, focus, okay? Um, <clears throat> the tower card in reverse, yes, it's, <clears throat> you're not, you're not really tapping into the, I really feel like you deserve more and you can get more, but because you're out of focus or your decision making, what you said, what you did, your action, your reaction towards something, towards a people, towards a situation, you have not thought of it properly okay because the tower card in reverse you're not getting the outcome i'm hearing the word income you're not getting it because you're not using your full potential you're not using your charm you're not using your wit you're unfocused There's something with your strategy with your message with your action with your reaction that it keeps changing it's not consistent you know King of Swords, you could be, um, you have to make sure that what you said you do. Um, if you promise or if you pledge to deliver, um, you make sure that you you do what you say. You do what you say and um, yeah, I really feel like consistency, focus and you do what you say. Because King of Swords in reverse, this is illogical. This is not doing or following the right instruction this is not following the rule because you're not following the rule or you're not focused on the process on the rule on the agreement then the outcome is not really in favor of you or it's not solidifying because of that all right and then three cards wanted to come out you've got the five of cups yes you're sad you know you're sad 
you feel like you've been betrayed or sad news, not so good news, the three of wands. Yeah, it feels like um it feels like um you are you really wanting an outcome. You want an attention, an outcome to one you want an outcome to, to someone, to somebody, to a situation. You want it. You know, I really feel like you want this person, you want the attention, you want to win. And it's looking like you're not winning, you're sad. And you you have a, you have this worry around you about your future, about you might not be able to retrieve it, or you might not be able to get the opportunity, or you might not be able to give to be given a chance to correct it, you know, because of the inconsistent you're you're only human you know this queen of cups it's telling you you're only human you're not perfect you made a mistake but look there's still time you know there's still time you need to be focused the opportunity the person the situation it's still around you um you have up until the month of june to work things out to focus to have a strategy and to keep it going all right let's look at the hidden energy um, take it easy. You need to be kind or yourself. You need to recuperate. Recuperate. You need to heal. You, before you change your strategy, your approach. Before you, you know, because I feel like you're going to shift and you're going to focus again. So when you do that, make sure that you heal. Make sure that you forgive. Make sure make make sure that you have accepted a failure. Make peace with the situation, the person, the people, the failure, and then start all over again. There is an acceptance that's needed to happen. And be kind to yourself, you know, Queen of Cups. Because the that is yourself, you know. The best investment is yourself. Be kind to yourself. Believe in yourself and everything will fall into places. What's the hidden energy? Yeah. You're dealing with someone who's toxic or you're dealing with someone or a situation that's really toxic. And it has drained your capacity to decide. It has questioned your ability. It has made you weak. Okay, this toxicity in here could be a person. It could be a situation. It could also be a situation where you're very tired. So it has drained you. It, it made you question your ability to decide. It has made you inconsistent, unfocused. It has broth. It has, you know, bring out the worst in you. But this is curable. It can be fixed. You need to be kind with yourself. Accept your imperfection. Make peace with your decision. Make peace with the situation. Accept, heal, and forgive. Pull yourself together. It's not going to happen overnight. But this thing, it needs to start from you. Listen to your intuition. You know, put a balance in your life again. Because the high priestess, when this is an upright, this is... You're very balanced. You're listening to the logic. You're listening to your intuition. And you're consulting your emotion. So go back to basic. What's coming forward? Your ten of wands. The person, okay, the person, the situation that you are involved, that you are connected with, it is quite complicated right now. Um, you're about to have a new cycle with this person or with this situation. It is coming to a point of unloading because it's going to explode because it's too, there's so many conflict, there's so many indifferences, it's needing to refresh or restart, okay? So, you know, take it easy and um, this, is, this is a stage or an area, you're going through something difficult, you're going through something complicated, the best approach to this is for you to restart, refresh, and you do you. You first before you do the next plan. Before you connect, before you chase, before you, you know, you project or you manifest or you, before you do the next big thing, you do you. You take care of yourself. You've been beaten. You've been, um, it's complicated. This is so burdensome. This is difficult. So you've been through this. Give your mind, your heart, and your spirit some sort of um, recuperation or take it easy, recuperate, rejuvenate, you know, and be kind to yourself because there's more to come. 
and um, I'm really getting like the opportunity um, it could come back but you need to be whole again in order to really um, you know um, in order for you to enjoy and be the best person to deal with this opportunity or this person or this situation that you've been wanting to have or to achieve or to get an outcome or to get a result okay so good luck this weekend do some reflection for some of you i'm really do some reflection for some of you i'm getting like a message that do some journaling you know really research and focus focus on what you want and what you want to say and focus starts within you okay fix something within you so you keep your focus all right so thank you gemini it is a pleasure doing the reading to you it's all it's always been a pleasure doing and dealing with gemini energy i will see you soon again guys you have a great day bye bye